Hello everyone and welcome to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. I'm Garrett. First off, we just hit 50 subscribers. So thank you everyone so much for subscribing and for all the support. I hope that y'all stay tuned because we're just now scratching the surface on some serious content for the channel. And that leads me into today's video. I just got in the Skywatcher Star Adventure. Now I've posted some basic astrophotography on the channel before, but I've been fairly limited in what I've been able to do. Being limited by the Earth's rotation, I can only take exposures that are roughly 20 seconds long before the stars start to get elongated. But now, with the addition of the Star Adventure, I'm able to track the stars across the sky. This ability to track the stars across the sky allows for some seriously long exposures, especially compared to what I'm used to. But, of course, since I've got in the Star Adventure, I've only had one clear night with it, and most of that night was spent learning how to polar align. But I feel like I have a fairly solid grasp now on how to do that. And as long as I see that everything's going to work out pretty well with it, I may end up uploading a video of how I polar align my Skywatcher Star Adventure. I did end up purchasing the Astro Package with the mount, along with a few other accessories. It seems like the Astro Package is the best deal, and you get the most equipment with it. With this package, I got the Declination Bracket, Ball Mount Bracket, and Polarscope Illuminator. Along with it, I bought an Ioptron Ball Mount, the Skywatcher Counterweight, and the Latitude Wedge that is recommended with the mount. Basically, I have everything that you need for some serious astrophotography with the Star Adventure. The Star Adventure is a very capable, portable mount whenever it comes to astrophotography. Tracking speeds vary, allowing everything from basic time lapses to lunar, solar, and stellar tracking. With a weight limit of 11 pounds, I've not even begun to push the limits of what this thing can do. I'm excited to really open up the Star Adventure, and I'm planning on bringing some budget-friendly astrophotography content to the channel. We finally have some of the building blocks of what we need to do some astrophotography on the channel, so I'm ready to get the learning started. If you enjoy what you're seeing, be sure to subscribe for more. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy.